to say, this is one of the few items that I haven't aired with you. And I thought, where in the world has this been? Because when we say from soup to nuts, we cover it all here in your <laughs> kitchen. It is $150 off your purchase. It is a self-contained unit. Of course, you know that brand name, which I think is genius. But even though we're calling it a soup maker, that's, that's almost a little sad in a way, because this amazing carafe has its own heating element. You don't need yes. a separate burner, not a separate nothing. And basically with the touch of a button, you can do, when we say from soup to nuts, all in this great little profile. Exactly, it has its own blender, it has its own heating element. There are six different programs with the touch of a button. You can make soups, smoothies, compotes. And here's the thing about soup, I call it a warm hug. You just instantly feel better. But if you read the ingredients in that can of soup, even if you splurge and buy the organic boxed soup, it is full of things that don't need to be there for your body. This butternut squash soup has these ingredients in it, and that is it. Butternut squash, the broth, the scallions, and then salt, pepper, cinnamon, and ginger. Ooh, that is it. That's it? That is it. So it is natural, oh, I'm it is healthy, you know oh, what you're getting, but why don't we make soup more often? Because it's a lot of work. Oh, that's good. Isn't that wonderful? I'm gonna have to do that. And I'm going to have to do this that. This is why fantastic. you order soup at a restaurant. It is. Because you know, it tastes like that. It's so funny. I, I didn't get a chance to tell you this story, Stephanie, but they, you, at one of our local restaurants, they used to call me the soup lady. <laughs> because I would literally call this restaurant every day. I'm like, what's the soup of the day? What's the soup of the day? Right. What's, and they would literally know, is this soup lady? Because coming from Minnesota, you know, we love soup. And you can do cold soups, hot soups, you know, any kind of soup. What I think is so interesting, and Stephanie, if you could just describe the technology. So Absolutely. You put the ingredients in, and it does... It it really does all the work. It does everything. That's crazy. So you can buy a blender, and many people do, that costs hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Oh, sure. And one of the big appeals is that it makes soup. Well, the difference here is that we're making soup, and we're not using the friction to heat it. There's an actual heating element here that heats my stainless steel canister so that not only will my veggies get cooked, raw meat gets cooked. Oh, wow. And that is what I was waiting to tell you that I didn't tell you oh, earlier. you didn't. Because I like, knew you were going to love this. So you let's know, put so one funny together. Because people are asking about yep. meat. I mean, actually, no they're problem. asking about chili and We're going to do it all. Okay, that sounds so perfect. He, let's make chicken enchilada soup, one okay. of the favorites. Raw chicken right in here. So when I'm telling you that this is only 18 minutes when it cooks, it's only about mm, two minutes per prep because I've got my chicken and it is going in. Okay. So that's all I need to do there. Gotcha. Corn going in. By the way, this recipe and virtually every recipe that we are doing in the book, this is one of oh, the best recipe books mind. that you will ever get. 38 different recipes and okay. every single one of them better so, than the last. Uh, Rick, do we have the item number on the book? Um, you know, comes with it. No. You don't need an item number for that. That's like a whole... <laughs> yes. It's an amazing that's, cookbook. That's not like a booklet. That's a recipe book. So what I encourage you is bring it oh, home and start man. working your way through the book. Because you know what? Phillips knows this is new technology. You've probably never seen anything quite like this. Right. So they wanted to give you a recipe book. So there's no fear. All you do is follow those recipes oh, and nice. you're good to go. It takes out that fear factor. So again, the, the recipe is in the cookbook, but yep. so you do a little stock. So right? I did my stock. I right. did some jalapeno, and of course you can adjust that as you want. Some corn, a little bit of paprika. Now inside this, because one of the big questions I get asked is, well, I have my grandmother's soup recipe and it's amazing. You can do any recipe in here. Yeah. Really the only rule to follow is there's a max line and a min line in there. You you know, you have to have enough liquid right. so it cooks, and you can't have too much liquid or it's going to cook all over the place. Right. That's the only rule. So take grandma's recipe yeah. and just work with it to make it fit within the lines. But ingredients in, lid on, and from here on out, now it's just a computer brain. Oh. So there are six different functions. Okay. By the way, the cute little pictures here correspond to the cute little pictures That's in the recipe so book. Fun. I mean, this is so user-friendly. But here are the six preset functions. There's a puree. 
There's a chunky because you know I don't want my chili smooth. I want sure. my chili chunky. Sure. This knows the difference. There's a cream function because milk cooks at a lower temperature oh. than if I were to boil my broth. Sure. It knows the difference. I'm telling you, I nice. love this. Fruit compote, one of life's little treasures if you have not had that recently. It is at the push of a button here. I can't wait for peach season to do that. These are my cold soups or my smoothies. Okay. And then actually it runs just as a manual blender because this is a thousand watts of power. So you can blend anything you wanna blend while you are at it. So for chicken enchilada, I'm choosing puree, I'm pushing go, we are now officially done. Okay, that's crazy. We come back in 18 minutes and it is piping hot soup. This is the consistency, because remember we had chicken in there. So you can tell obviously that we had some corn and some chicken, but look at the color, oh, wow. look at the richness, and it didn't cook for hours, well, which is what makes me happy. So, okay, give me, the, give me the bullet points again. So I put the ingredients in, and remember you get a full recipe book. Yep. Recipe book. Ingredients in. You choose, you know, do you want chunky? Choose you your cho program. You choose your program. Absolutely, so this is chili, and you will notice that it's gonna come out chunky, okay. because because that's how we want our chili to come out. And then you push the button and it brings itself up to temperature and blends and does the whole shebang. Come over here and feel it right now. Okay. It's beginning to mix. It's oh, going so it's to intermittently right. mix. It's heating itself up. Okay. And then next it will cook. So it's going through the process. Oh, this is wild. I, Isn't it? Because rather than putting our ingredients in I a stock pot, rather than getting out immersion blender and going like this, right. rather than doing all those things, this does it all. It knows when to blend, it knows when to heat, and it knows the temperature at which to do it Stephanie, all. Stephanie, do you know the capacity again, the reservoir? 1.2 liters. 1.2 liters. I would okay. say it is very easily three to four entree servings, and once then you get into some of the, some of the you know, more appetizer types soups, you're going to get a little bit more out of it. So this is the chili and I want to get the pieces here coming oh, out. So here's what I like so much about this. Here's my ground meat that you, obviously that's how I would make chili. It went in there raw. Oh, it did? To not <gasps> have to brown ground beef or turkey. In fact, I just made ground turkey chili this weekend and you know, it, it's just another step and it makes a mess that when you're having to do that on the stove. I do like the pour factor too. It's yeah. just another little extra, but this is a high quality stainless steel canister so that not only am I cooking and making this great soup but if I'm not ready to eat the minute it's done or my husband's coming home later in the evening it will keep it warm okay, so I'm almost afraid to ask so you keep did asking. chili did you like have to sp I, I think when I make chili I'm spending a couple hours in the kitchen oh I my mean, goodness I mean, you should not spend more than five minutes in the kitchen with this. So I literally kind of set it and forget it. Beans in, tomatoes in, spices in, raw meat in, push button, walk away. I, I gotta that's be it. honest, it's, it's, I'm kind of, my mind is just kind of reeling because I do, that's what, I love chili, but it's right. one of the reasons I don't make it is, you know, you know very well, it's like, oh, you brown the meat. Right. You know, and you add the seasonings. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And yeah, the chili sauce, right? I mean, I'm worn out even talking about it. So you kind of set it and forget it. Uh, by the way, uh, William, so nice to have you there. Dwayne, always good to see you. Please say hi to your niece for me. Uh, Candy, you know I love having you on board. Brenda, good to see you as well. She's also asking about making chicken noodle soup. Absolutely. You can make chicken noodle Absolutely. soup. Absolutely, in fact, it's one of the recipes oh, awesome. in the book. And what I like Red about recipes. it too is the thing about the book, you know, like a chicken noodle soup, you're gonna yeah. use the chunky function of oh, the soup, sure. right? Because remember, we don't have to puree everything. The Minestrone, one of my favorites in there. I want those pieces of veggies in my yeah. minestrone. My fish stew, not a puree, a chunk. So again, pureed soup, chunky soup, cream soup, which I will show in a minute, but we're gonna move to the smoothie function okay. because you know what? Summer will come eventually. I'm gonna keep <laughs> telling myself this and maybe it'll happen, but you're not just restricted to soups. Uh, what about gazpacho? What about chilled melon? Oh, what sure. about cucumber soup? One of the functions is the chilled soup or smoothie because those are usually both cold and pureed. So I put in Greek yogurt, recipes in the book, frozen raspberries. Nice. This is a thousand watt blender. We're not scared of anything in here. <laughs> yeah, really. Orange juice, little bit of honey. Now I am going to choose the cold function and in this case it's going to make a smoothie. It's like standing in front of a powerful blender because this is going to do the blending for because me. Because it does all the work. And you know, I have to say, whether you like soup, cold soups, gazpachos, chilies, smoothies. And off it goes.
And it's uh, going to blend and make a smoothie. Uh, I, where have I been? Uh, you know what? I mean, this is new, though. You're not, yeah. You haven't missed anything. This is new technology from Philips. Philips really is so about innovation that they looked at something we all love. Soup sure. is very, very popular. Souping is a thing. You yeah, know how juicing right. no, is a thing right. for weight you're loss right. and detox? Souping is a thing. Right. So they looked at the process of making soup and thought, okay, why don't we do this more often? Why do we pay all this money in a restaurant? Because it takes a lot of time because it seems like a complicated process. So then they simplified it. They took the natural, wholesome, good ingredients right. and found a way to make a machine nice. that does it. So this corn chowder, oh, that's corn chowder is so yummy. Wow. Also in the recipe so book. Here, uh, by the way, Brenda's asking about ice. Uh, probably not ice in oh, this. Oh, ice in there. Oh, no Absolutely. The raspberries are frozen in here. Oh, Brenda. There is a coffee banana frozen drink no in that kidding. recipe book that Brenda, you load up you with go. ice cubes. Uh, Thousand watt blender. It can handle it. Okay. W uh, William wants a cauliflower broccoli cheddar soup. Mm, yes. Thumbs up. Uh, we don't have any Yankee canes in this show. Also, Karen in Colorado Springs, chunky salsa. Uh, you know what? Absolutely. Because yeah. remember, one of the features there right. is the blender. Oh, that's so true. So you could put anything you want in here and just pulse and you would be good to go. I, I think that's genius. It is $150 off. So uh, we were kind of doing this during the presentation, but Mark, I'm just going to run over this real quick. So remember, it's the, the separate carafe, the buttons on top, you lock and load. Sorry, I'm trying to do this backwards uh, with arthritis. There's that wonderful blending attachment on the interior. Then, of course, your detachable cord. It's a recipe book, a recipe book that comes uh, with it. And we are doing a lot of hot foods, but I love the questions on Facebook. So if you want to do salsas or gazpachos or crush ice, does that like 